What's up my fellow React devs with terrible design skills? It's your boy Michael and in this video I'm going to show you how to build a clean landing page in under 10 minutes. Something sleek, clean, dark mode, light mode. I'm literally going to show you how to build it in 10 minutes. Now there's a couple things we're going to need. I'm going to use Next.js, obviously my weapon of choice. I already have my code base set up here. Create next app at latest, no source directory because I'm a G. And then there are two things I found recently. I found these two libraries, one called craft and another, I guess it's called components.bridger.to, um, built by the same person, entity, whatever. Um, and essentially craft is like the design system that handles the layouts. And the, these are the different components and they have hero sections, call to actions, frequently asked questions, feature sections, header and footer. And, I'm not gonna lie, very clean, very simple, built on top of Shad C and UI. So we're gonna build a simple landing page very quickly right now. So first things first, it tells us that we need to run this command right here. Terminal, let's run this command. We'll hit enter. It also will install Shad C and UI, which is great. Let's do New York Slate, yes. Okay, our page is live. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the main page, remove all this garbage right here and just put this as a placeholder now so i initialized craft and now it's telling me i have access to this layout so let's just copy paste this and see how this looks so add all missing imports there you go perfect let's see how this looks now very interesting very clean very nice let's set up a hero i don't know which hero i'm feeling let's go for the first one so just copy this code right here I'm going to go under components, create a folder called, let's call it homepage and then slash hero.tsx. So this is going to be the hero component, copy paste it here. So there's a couple things I need. I'll need yarn add. I'll need to add react wrap balancer. Let's paste that. Oops. I pasted the whole code react wrap balancer and then lucid reacts, which is a icon library. We also need the button from ShadCN, so let me just paste this command, hit enter, it's installing, and this should be good. So if I hit yarn dev, hit save, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the hero right here. Going once, going twice. Oh, what broke? Okay, so placeholder image. What I'll do is I will drag this image, drop it over here. I'm just using literally the same image. Put it in public, go back to hero, and I think it's a WebP here, so that should fix it. Let's go back to our main page. Would you look at that? I have my hero. Now, uh, we need a nav bar, so I'm just gonna copy paste this fire nav bar I've created. Um, again, I will put all this code in the GitHub repo down below. I'll just create a simple GitHub repo that you guys can use, and then I'll call this navbar.tsx copy paste it here now there's a couple things i'll need from chat cn i'll need dialogue uh i have button uh, i'll need navigation menu and i think sheet that's what i'll need perfect and i know i need to get more toggle toggle but i will comment this out right now this is basically the toggle for light mode dark mode all right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layout.tsx and then I'm going to add the nav bar here just so it can be on every page. So let's add the nav bar here, hit save, and then if I refresh, perfect. So you see my nav bar here. Let me just up here add margin pad. Let's do two. Perfect. So nav bar, hero section done let's go what's next let's add some features so i really like the left image right image feature set so we're going to just literally copy this whole code go to the home page do feature left dot tsx paste this right here let's do feature let's call it feature left and then what literally what we're going to do i'm going to change the placeholder image we're going to under hero place feature left and we're going to import this right here save and when we 
refresh. Oh. And what's great is all these components are fully customizable. So there's something about it you don't like, you can change it, right? It's kind of like ShatCN where you have access to the code. Now let's add feature left. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna copy the code. Sorry, feature right. Um, paste here, call this feature right. Change this over here, change the image, go back to app add feature right and i'm going to import this quickly and let's go back to refresh our page so i have feature left feature right added let's see if th is there anything else i'd like to add maybe we'll probably add one of these don't know why but we'll call it a uh, feature set i don't know what uh information i'd put here but again i'm just showing you how i would quickly build a landing page if i wanted to so we're going to call this feature set and then paste that there, put it underneath here. We're going to import it Again, this is our home page right now. And if we refresh this again, look how nicely and quickly this is coming together and you can make changes to this if you want. And then let's see what else would I want to add? All right, so let's add a call to action. I'll just add this one right here. I already have the CTA file made, paste this, add this under feature set, not container. If I add CTA, bring that. Okay, so I have my CTA and then all I need is a footer. So if I go back here, do they have any footers? They do. I'll add this one actually, this one is perfect. And I'll do footer, footer not footer, footer.tsx. And then again, same thing. I'm going to do I have any I'll do next SVG. So we'll do import logo next SVG. Beautiful. Look at that. Look how long it took us to build a simple landing page. Now, let's say we want to add a uh, dark mode. All I have to do is go to chat CN, click on dark mode. Uh, then the next JS instructions, I'm going to yarn add next themes. So let me do yarn add next themes. And then I need to create the theme provider. This is going to wrap um, the the uh, children in the layout. So let's um, where should I create this? I will create this here. I'll just do underscore provider dot TSX. Can I do that? Let me know if I can do the underscore to file. I know you can do that to folder. So I have that and now all I need to do is wrap theme provider. And I believe there's a couple props I'll need to add. Yep. I'll add these props right here. Let's make it default dark. And then the mode toggle, which I will literally just actually I have a better mode toggle. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this again, the link, the code will be in the GitHub repo linked down below. I'll do modal tog, modal toggle dot TSX, paste this code. I'll go back to the nav bar where we commented out mode toggle commented, and we're going to import this and uncommented and it's already imported. So if I run my server now, and I refresh my page. Would you look at that? Look at this beautiful landing page only took us a few minutes. And what's great about these components is you have full access to the code. So let's say I don't like the hero, I click on the hero, and I can make changes however I want Add spacing, change the font text size, all that type of stuff. Shout out to craft and this component library here i'll link this down below in the description below i wonder who it's made by it is made by bridge tower so design engineer of course make sure you follow him uh great uh set of github repos get li great library great library i don't know what's wrong with my english today but yeah great library follow this lad this is awesome i literally just built a whole landing page in a couple of minutes copy pasting and now i can change this code change it to how I like it. But to be honest, I like the style. I like the sauce. 
that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.